group of people that we have assembled here today are some of the world's leading experts on HIV. For me, it was the most dramatic day of the last 32 years. And we knew at that point a third of the gay population in the city were subjected to it. I was told not to focus on AIDS because by the time I was fully trained, the epidemic would be over. And that was 1987. I'm going to die from this. This isn't going to be cured for years and years and years and years. So I was one of the first to find out before I became sick. And in that sense, I was lucky and one of the reasons I'm probably here today. Today, we understand this virus better than any other virus on Earth. It hasn't actually stopped the epidemic. And 33 and a half million people are now infected with HIV, and that number is expected to keep climbing. I'd like to be the voice of optimism. I, I, I do think that it's feasible. We know how to end this epidemic. Getting it done, though, is not to be assumed. For the first time today, the government approved prescription sales of a drug to treat AIDS. An experiment isn't a failure if you learn something from it. have loved us, but they did not like the fact that the government was ignoring us while we were dying. That hurt their conscience.